The pattern that we're seeing here is one of causation. In other words, cause and effect, which is right here in our cross-cutting concepts. Now, what this looks like, uh, considering the data that we just gathered, is that when Australopes lived longer, because of an adaptive trait that they had, and in the simulation, of course, the adaptive trait was a color level of seven that matched the environment. So when these Australopes lived longer, with that adaptive trait, they were able to reproduce more. And when they were able to reproduce more, they had more offspring. Then what happens is that adaptive trait then becomes more common in the population because that adaptive trait is being passed on from parents to offspring. So when they have more opportunity to reproduce, they're also passing down that adaptive trait to their offspring, and therefore that adaptive trait becomes more common in the population. So here's a summary of what we learned in this lesson. Genes are instructions for making protein molecules and dictate the shape of those proteins. Those protein molecules determine an organism's traits as they fit into another molecule. Individuals inherit their genes from their parents. Genes and therefore traits in a population are passed down from generation to generation. If an individual has an adaptive trait, that individual is more likely to live longer and have more opportunities to reproduce. If an individual does not have an adaptive trait, that individual is less likely to survive long enough to reproduce. Thanks so much for joining me today, and I look forward to seeing you for lesson six next time.